Okay, as we move into the second half of our program, and I get the rage out from throwing stands everywhere, um, this is our concert band set. Now, if you look at your program, you'll notice um, that there are only four pieces listed. Uh, that is on purpose. Normally, for the spring concert, we do five. However, as the students will tell you, and you will soon see, the two middle pieces that we'll be performing, Everything Beautiful and Tennessee Salute, are quite, uh, are quite involved and quite lengthy. They're, um, they're quite ambitious, particularly Everything Beautiful, uh, when I programmed it. Uh, but before we, get to, before we get to those two, sort of our, our main courses, I would like to open with the first piece that we played at Concert Festival this year, and that is entitled Buccaneer Hornpipe. Now, if you'll notice, our two uh, lovely adorned percussionists back there are not just wearing towels for the heck of it. Um, they are wearing towels because, and they're not supposed to be wearing them, right, guys? Yeah. They have towels on them because they're actually a percussion instrument. Now, I know you wouldn't think that towels could be, but I think they are designed to simulate the whipping uh, 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 sails of the ships that are at sea. So, I uh, hope you enjoy Buccaneer Hornpipe.
as our uh, percussion makes the transition to our next piece. Uh, this next piece, entitled Everything Beautiful, is, was the sort of centerpiece of our concert festival program. When I picked this piece, um, I knew it was going to be, uh, frankly, a challenge uh, for this ensemble because it targets one of the things that I uh, really wanted to work on throughout this year, and that is our balance, our blend, and our intonation. And from the beginning of it, when the students first saw this piece, their first thought was, I believe, I don't want to speak for them, but their first thought was, there's nothing really hard in this piece. Oh, how wrong they turned out to be. This piece um, requires a level of maturity and a level, and a level of growth that, um, to be honest, I wasn't 100% sure we'd be able to pull off. Um, but over, the, over the, about the eight or nine weeks that we worked on this pretty seriously prior to festival, um, the students, the students really exhibited that. They exhibited the growth and they exhibited the maturity of it. Uh, maturity that was required for this piece. Um, this piece is in three movements, three contiguous movements. They go just straight from movement to movement to movement. Um, they flow right together. And I won't read you uh, all of it, um, all of the background of this piece, but it was written as a uh, requiem for a, a Northern Kentucky band director uh, named Chuck Campbell. Uh, this piece was premiered by the University of Kentucky Wind Symphony the year, uh, two, a year or two after I graduated uh, with my master's degree. Um, and I won't read you the description for all three movements, which are entitled The Stillness of Remembering, Irish Tune, and for those of you that are familiar with band literature, it's not Irish Tune from County Derry, though it is loosely based on that. And then movement three, while well, I think on the dear friend. But I, will, I would like to read a little bit of the description of the first movement, which is entitled The Stillness of Remembering. This, these are notes from the composer, uh, Samuel Hazo. I distinctly remember learning of Chuck's passing in an email. The grief was great enough that I immediately went to my piano and began to play. The notes matched my feelings so perfectly that I sketched out exactly what I played, never knowing I'd be asked to compose Chuck's Requiem. There are very few textures that express pain and joy simultaneously, holding that balance between the optimism of open voicing and the introspection of subtle note clusters. My fingers just happened to land in the perfect places. Months later, I was able to find my sketch, and beginning to end, it is the first movement. I am convinced Chuck was with me. The piano part that will be so aptly played um, by our graduating senior, Matt Pepito, is the piano part, the original sketch, for that first movement. So I hope that that provides a little bit of background uh, on this piece and what its original intention and title was for. So I hope that you enjoy Samuel Hazo's Everything Beautiful.
that after we played that, I'd stop for a second and let them catch their breath. Um, that piece um, is, is not played by many high school groups. There's a reason it was premiered by a college wind symphony in memory of high school band director. Um, and I cannot, I just want to publicly express to these students um, how much I appreciate you guys working on that because the growth that you exhibited this year was remarkable working on that piece. So thank you. Thank you, parents. Um, and for the community for encouraging them to do that. So I told them I would give them a break for just a second after we talked about this piece because I wanted to acknowledge uh, a few of our students that have achieved uh, several honors throughout the year. The first one I would like to acknowledge uh, is actually an honor that is somewhat unexpected. I've never, I have never had a student, excuse me, I've never had a student that has achieved this before. Uh, and that is one of our percussionists uh, decided he wanted to submit a video audition to uh, the University of Tennessee at Martin for their Honor Percussion Ensemble. Now the Honor Percussion Ensemble is chosen by competitive video audition and has students from Kentucky all the way to Eastern Tennessee and really all around the Southeast. And one of our students was selected for that ensemble. So I'd like to uh, publicly acknowledge Mr. Tyrese Howard. Where are you? Thank you, I dropped it. Continuing with the UTM theme, we also had six students that were accepted, and this is via competitive application, to this year's University of Tennessee at Martin Honor Band. And those students are, in no particular order, Mr. Jerry McGuire, percussionist, back there. Mr. Tyler Lloyd, on tuba. Mr. Mason Taylor and Byron Couples, on trombone. Houston on tenor saxophone, and finally this is Jessica Nellums on flute. Congratulations again. Uh, our final honor is one of the highest honors that students in this region can make, and that is the All West Tennessee Band. Uh, this year we had one alternate and three students that were selected for the, I shouldn't even say band in this instance, for the All West Tennessee program. Uh, our first, and the first student, this, what this involves is it involves they will work um, usually with private instruction, uh, private lessons that they go to after school hours. They will work on both scales, fundamentals, those kind of things, and sight reading that they will play, as well as some very difficult prepared music. And they will go to Memphis, and they will compete with students from all across uh, West Tennessee to be a part of one of these groups. Uh, and our, we had one alternate for the band program this year, and that was Mr. Tyler Lloyd on tuba. And then, uh, as per usual, the last few years, um, I don't know if, you think, if you've noticed, but we don't have violins in our band program. But we actually have a student who for years has taken private violin and has gone down and auditioned for the All West Orchestra. And for the third, did you make it before I got here? Did you, so, okay, so for the fourth year in a row, was selected for the All West Orchestra, and that is Mr. Matt Pito. And then finally, we had two percussionists that were selected for the All West Tennessee 1112 Red Band, and that was Mr. Tyrese Howard and Mr. Jerry McGuire. Congratulations, guys. Uh, and our final group is I, would, is I would like to publicly acknowledge our, we have certain graduating seniors who this is their last public concert with, you have one more year, Tyrese, Jill. <laughs> yeah, and this is their last public concert with with the uh, with our concert band, um, and those seniors are Matt Pepito on synthesizer, formerly the trumpet, <laughs> percussionist, uh, also percussionist Mr. Daquan Nolan, Mr. Daquan, there you go, Mr. Tyler Lloyd, Mr. Alex Houston. So, so thank you guys for all your years of service uh, to our to our program here, and I wish you the best in your future endeavors, whether that be college or otherwise. Uh, now that I have I given you enough time to kind of kind of rest your time? Okay.
Uh, the, no? What, what do you want, another 30, 30 minutes? You guys another 30 minutes, right? Let's start, okay. Uh, so our next piece um, is, in a, is in a little bit different vein. Uh, it is entitled Tennessee Salute. And this piece, it involves uh, tunes from all across the region um, and just well-known Tennessee, uh, well-known Tennessee anthems and, uh, and, Tennessee, and Tennessee tunes. However, just because this piece is based off of a little bit lighter music and I hope, to, I hope that everyone thoroughly enjoys it, does not mean that it is any less difficult. As I think you'll see, this piece um, is fairly challenging. And for our seniors in this band, I actually, after I selected it, was informed that they also played this on their, during their freshman year at their spring concert. So it's kind of a fun way to book in their career, um, and I hope you enjoy Tennessee Salute.
having been to school in Kentucky, you have no idea how hard it is for me to conduct Rocky Top. <laughs> so we're, we're going to end tonight. Um, thank you, thank you all again for taking time out of your Monday night um, to come and, and see the hard work of these students and um, experience the hard work. That, can we have one more round of applause? For these guys? great group of students to work with and though we have our moments when focus becomes an issue from time to time uh, it's a great group of students to work with and thank you very much um, thank you very much for all that you do as parents and boosters and supporters um, we do have our band banquet coming up on May the 2nd May the 2nd um, so I hope everyone will make plans to be there um, as we uh, as we can recognize again once again the hard work of these students not only uh, for our concert program but also for our marching program. We will end tonight and we will leave you with uh, with a John Philip Sousa classic. I always believe in ending uh, in at least one concert here with the march because that's where that's where we came from. That's what started the wind band genre as an offshoot from the orchestra was uh, and popularized it was the military band. So I hope you enjoy John Philip Sousa's Simper Fidelis.